welcome to Kiri the Bus. My name is Veronica and I'm Mio, and this is my partner. Hi, how's it going? I'm MJ. And this is our beautiful 2005 Econoline Super Duty um, bus conversion. So we got this bus two years ago, all the way in last year, then it was yellow, it was used for school bus driving purposes, and then we had the crazy idea to turn it into a little tiny home. So if we start at the beginning, we love our grass. <laughs> we, love our, we love our grass, so that's the beginning of the floor. And we painted our dash white, which turned out to be um, not the greatest idea in the end because light reflects in your eyes, but it's fine. It was a cute idea at the time. Um, and this is our driver's area. It has a lot of space, as you can see. We put in a little shelf at the top. Plants, because we love our plants. A little hangers for all of our stuff. Driver's fan, just in case we get a little bit hot. And yeah. This is the beautiful driver's area. The layer of our, of our floor is like a, an inch and a half taller than what the bottom of the bus is. Um, but that's for keeping us warm um, at night because it can get pretty cold at night in the bus. And structurally what we did also is that we insulated the whole ceiling and the side panels as well with foam insulation and um, ceramic called, paper yeah yes ceramic paper. Um, that was a whole process we had to do a lot of research for it but it was really worth it and it makes the build a lot more high quality in my opinion and so this is the living area uh, yeah. this is where we spend most of our time when we're living in the bus um, we decided to use um, basically a bathroom vanity unit um, as our kitchen because as you can see there's limited space um, and this was the best size that we could find we have three drawers two doors which is like just enough to be able to store everything you need in a basic camping kitchen um, and we were able to install oh yeah we were yeah, able to install also some magnets because when you're driving things go everywhere obviously <laughs> so we have little magnets over here and over here so that when you place it it stays shut but it takes a little bit of effort to pull it back out again yeah, there's a price to it yeah. but it's okay and one of the coolest things about this bus is our water system um, we spent some time researching how to get running water in the bus because mm -hmm. obviously we're not hooked up to anything um, and basically how it works is that we have an electric pump connected to a battery that's inside this bench mm -hmm. and whenever we need water we turn on the battery which activates the pump and um, we have two big 18 liter jugs that we store here so that's our supply and the waste goes into this canister right here and it's really great because um, one of the most tedious things when you're camping is doing dishes yes. in like a tub and having to like be outside doing your dishes and this just makes bus life a lot easier. Agreed. Another really cool thing about the sink is that you can turn it around and it extends and then you'll be able to shower outside which is how we shower whenever we travel in the bus and it's really fantastic works really well it does take two people though so one person has to be in control of when the water is on when the water is off and the other person is outside showering so that's one of our favorite things about the build but on the other side we have our chair slash dining slash i guess sitting area so what we have is we have one um i guess stool here that actually opens up and then we can have all of our storage so these are our curtains we have a first aid kit some mosquito nets and in here is our battery pack that is used to power all of the electronics in the bus like the water pump our phone chargers laptop chargers everything so it's really good it was one of the biggest investments we did in the bus and it was proven to be really worth it now the next part is the bedroom area and what we have here is we really wanted to again mix maximize storage so we got um, we got a futon off of Facebook Marketplace, and we decided to uh, install it on a structure that we built from um, basically patio uh, supports, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we just screwed it in there. But then we could lift it up, but it was really heavy, right? Because there's a mattress on it, there's cushions on it, and so we decided to get these struts, which are basically what you use to keep the trunk of your car open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we installed them on the frame of this futon couch to make a bed that stays up, so that we can have access to all of our storage. And this is where we keep our um, this is where we keep our small compost toilet yes. um, <laughs> that we use. It's also kind of the bathroom area. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, whenever the, 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 the privacy curtains are up, we can, you know, do what we gotta do. Mm -hmm. um, and we also store our water here. We have uh, 
two extra jugs, as well as a bunch of bins of storage for dry food, toilet paper, clothing, you name it. This bus was obviously initially yellow, and um, we decided that we wanted to customize the paint job. Um, and so what we decided to go with is this blue, dark blue paint with stars on it. And um, how we did it is that we first had to sand the complete, uh, completely sand the exterior of the bus to remove the varnish and the first layer of paint. Um, we, had to, we did that with orbital sanders. It was a whole day's work and it was uh, extremely tedious, but it was really worth it. And then we decided to use, um, we used a Rust-Oleum paint that we mixed. We mixed a gallon of bright blue paint with, I think, a smaller gallon of black paint to get this specific shade. And we hand painted the whole bus um, ourselves. It was also a whole day's work, um, but this paint was really thick and it's super rust-proof. It, it's been holding up great, to be honest. Yeah, very, very well. We also decided to use um, a different type of paint for the ceiling, uh, the ceiling, the top of the bus. Um, we decided to use, you can't really see it, but if you come to the side here, you can tell that this shade of blue is slightly different than the shade of blue on the body, and that's because it's boat paint, so it's, it's paint that's used to paint the bottom of boats so that it doesn't rust, and since we figured all the rain's gonna be hitting the top of the bus, we wanted it to be extra, like, leak-proof. We have our Instagram handle, which is at Keating of the Bus. And initially, this was actually my Christmas present to MJ. Best I, Christmas yes. ever. <laughs> I, I would burn our Instagram handle and I gave it to her as a Christmas gift, but she said, oh my god, this would be perfect on the back of the bus. And I completely agreed, so we epoxied it and ended up screwing into the back of the bus. And this is really great because when we're on the road, on the highway, we get people sending us DMs of pictures of the bus on the road and messages and even sometimes people decide to follow the bus and it's just been a really great experience to, to have that way to connect with people on the road because they love to see a yeah. crazy project like this and it's, it's fun. We also put a little bit of contact paper here just to like increase the privacy a tiny bit. So it's just contact paper that we put on the inside from Home Depot, really DIY, just to make sure that people weren't able to see the entireties of what was on the bottom of the bus. And over our trips of two years with this bus, we've made an effort to collect as many stickers as we possibly can to put on the back. So I think some of our favorites is um, this one, it just says, be the pants. <laughs> I don't know why, we don't really know what it means. We just love it. So <laughs> be the pants is cool. And it's all these cool places that we've been. So Halifax, some cafes, the Cabot Trail, just a bunch of places that we've been. We wanted to keep that memory forever by putting it on the bus. So after two years of building and traveling and living in our bus, we decided that it was finally time for other people to be uh, able to experience the absolute joy of living in our tiny home. So as of spring 2023, we're going to be renting our beautiful bus to anyone and everyone who would like to uh, experience what it's like. And we have currently our platforms of rental are on RVZ, Outdoorsy, and you can also rent through us with, um, with a personal contract. The bus also has an online presence, so if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's like you saw at the back, at uh, the bus. And we posted a lot of uh, footage of our trips and there might actually be footage coming next year of other people's trips. Yeah. Um, if they rent the bus, we encourage people to submit mm -hmm. um, content to us if they want to be featured on the bus page. Exactly. Same. Whether you're interested in renting it or you're interested in doing your own conversion, we started this when we were 20 and 19 years old, mm -hmm. and this was done on our own means. So we had no loans, we didn't ask any parents or any other people for money, we saved for this and we did this project ourselves. So this was on a 20, 21, and 22 year old budget. We also have our own apartments, our own cars, our own lives that we have to deal with as well. So we, we tried our best to pretty much do the best job that we, we were able to do with the time and the means and the money that we had. So if you're interested and if you're young or especially if you're a woman and you'd like to do something like this, um, feel free to reach out. We can Absolutely. provide as many resources as possible and also we've accumulated a lot of knowledge along the way so we would love to share that with you. Thank you! Bye! <laughs>